Hey folks, hope you're doing good. Kicking off the week with some heavy grind core as we normally do. But before we get into all of that, I just want to mention if you're in a grind core band, if you know some mates who are in a grind core band and they'd be interested in making a submission to a compila compilation album, you can do that now over at the Hills of Dead Records. Uh, they've got a bunch of things here. You can, if you're in a gore grind band, a D beat band, if you there's tributes to Misfits and Black Flag and Exploited and all of that stuff. So if any of that stuff is up your street, well, you know, guys who do that stuff, send them over to the Hills of Dead Records Bandcamp page. They can make a submission of a track and end up on a compilation album. Pretty cool. But we're going to kick off the day nice and heavy. Uh, I've got six bands for us to check out, but all of these tracks are a little bit older. They're ones that I missed out on. You might have missed out on them as well. So we're going to go back and check those out. Uh, this one's from 2014. It's a band called Gridlink, and the track is called The Last Raven. It's an unofficial video, so let's check it out. <laughs> like a cool movie as well whatever that was very nice track ridiculous drumming in there he was going off all the way through some nice panic chords and mathy stuff as well in there sick vocal that was a bit buried in the mix dope now this one's even older it's from 2006 the band is called he who corrupts and the track is master of profits so here we go I'm gonna be blunt, you know? I mean, I'm talking about millions of dollars. Same time with snare in there. Nice space. video as well now that snare sound was heading for a bit of saint anger but when he blasted it 
That still sounded dope. Yeah, I don't know. You could probably just blast beat a block of wood and it would still sound dope. Anyway, this next band up is called Loaf. This track's from 2017. The track is called Palace Real. Let's check it out. Yeah, a bit more chunky. This is the most revolution of hope that Israel daily commits against the Palestinians. So I refuse any longer to be intimidated or browbeaten by the tears. If you had any part in you, you would be crying to the Palestinians. Not so much to the Great bass turn in this mix. Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. going to get political on this show but whatever side of this palestine israel debate you stand on there's no surprise to me that a lot of anger and angry music would come out of it and it's the passion that this these kind of events can spark that can be an upshoot of you know all what's going on um we had a lot of bands kind of coming out of areas of the world where you know, heavy shits going down, riots and revolutions and God knows what, war-torn countries. And one thing I'm noticing that comes out of those countries is great music because passion and anger and all those strong emotions create great music because the people push those emotions through the sound, through their instruments and through the music uh, and all that anger and energy comes through and it creates some great sounding music. So as bad as some of the things are in the world, we get some great music as a result of it. Let's move on to this next band. This is Vermin Womb. Their track is called Rank and File. So let's check these guys out a bit longer. This one's from 2016. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Some pretty crazy bits today. mix as well you can hear the bass great cymbal sound tom sound great nice fat guitar tone Yeah. 
rolling sounds great. Symbol sound in this one. Deep and dirty guitar in. The symbols adding a great high end. Yeah. I guess we'll call that video the circle of life. <laughs> But yeah, we get some pretty gnarly videos with some pretty gnarly tracks to go with them. Loving it. This, tr this next band is called Teeth Grinder. The track is from 2017 and it's called The Pain Exceeds the Fear. So let's check this one out. Let's watch these guys on Life Force Records. Yeah. through the noise nicely. It's got a fat sound, super wide on the stereo. Cool video. Again, it's a bit of a circle of life video. Yeah, these guys have got a great sound. sound and cymbal sound. Got a nice blackness to this one. Rattling. Great sound. Yeah, dope. These guys had a great sound. Deep, distorted, 
a bit blackened, I would say, in there. The drums sounded sick. The cymbals sounded even better. Great vocal again. A nice amount of distortion on it. Nice energy in the music. Dope video to go along with it as well. Yes! Very, very nice. Now, this is the last band we're going to check out for today. This one's from 2017 as well. This is The Psych Project. And the track, fittingly, is called The End. So let's finish off with these guys. show from 2014. Looks like a good one. Sounds like a good one. Ho ho. Yeah. We've had some grindy basses in the mix today and they've all cut through nicely. These guys are super fat and wide. sweaty and hugging each other <laughs> hasn't been a thing for a while now I don't like a great gig shame these guys finished off not quite sure why but we need music like that forever you know we don't need bands like that splitting up we just need them to keep on pumping out record after record uh, because that is a superb sound super thick and dirty and distorted but we could still hear the members of the band cutting through the mix you could hear the bass the cymbals sounded great the drums sounded sick 
This vocalist had a ton of distortion as well and still had his place in the mix. Dope. You know, and considering it was six, seven years old now, they did great to do that in the mix because it's difficult. When you got that much distortion, to get anything to come through clearly is difficult. But man, we've had some nice bands today. Older bands, three, four, sometimes six, seven or eight years old, uh, but still kicking some serious ass. Now, I don't know if any of these bands are still going or not. Hopefully they still are. And to be honest with you, hopefully the Psych Project can get their band back together because we need that sound in 2020 more than ever. Dope. Hope you've enjoyed today, guys. Uh, we're going to be doing some more night vids later on this week because I haven't been doing any of those. I've got some great post-rock bands and heavy, doomy, sludgy bands to check out with longer tracks. We've got hardcore tomorrow. What have we got? What? Got some good hardcore tomorrow. Heavy hardcore, I've just called it. So there you go. It's going to be super heavy. So stick around, guys, if you like it heavy. If you're in a band and you want to make a submission, the link's there in the description. And if you want to make a submission to the Hills of Dead Records compilation albums and you're in a band, get over to their uh, band camp, which will be in the description as well, and get, get, get your tracks submitted to a compilation album. Pretty sure it's all free and all of that. You just, you know, just give them the submission and you'll probably end up on the record. So there you go, guys. Hope you've had a good, good fun with all that this morning. I know I have. Great way to kick off the week. See you around. Bye.